It's Aerial Work Platforms. All Aerial Work Platforms are operated by using the radio remote from inside the basket. While you can hook up the platform and transport it to the location at which you wish to work, you can only operate it with the machine positioned and up on stabilizers. Because you'll be hooking up hydraulic and electric connections, turn off the machine after securing the platform with the Q-Fit, leave the machine, and secure the locking rod. Next, you'll connect the two hydraulic lines that are located on the platform to the fittings located on the boom tip, A to A and B to B. You'll hear the quick connect snap into place, and you can pull on it to make sure that they're properly secured. Next, you'll hook up the electrical harness with the male connector located on the platform to the female connector located on the boom tip. You must be careful to use the guided keyways provided and not force the connectors together so you do not damage or bend the pins. If you do, the platform will not work and it will require a service visit from your authorized Magni dealer. Once you reach your work area, the machine must be positioned with the machine on stabilizers, fully leveled, parking brake on, and the transmission in neutral. Lower the platform to grade level, being careful to be a few inches off the ground. Leave the machine running and exit the cab with your radio remote in hand and the cab door closed. Important, before anyone enters the work platform, they must be outfitted with full OSHA compliant PPE, including a proper fall protection harness, hard hat, eye protection, etc. Place the remote control on the floor of the platform in an area where you will not step on it and carefully step into the work platform by raising the access bar and immediately hook your harness to the eyelets provided on the platform. Locate the radio remote and secure it into the remote support tray. Before hooking up the electric connection, you must ensure that the red emergency stop button on the remote is in the up position. Next, you'll hook up the electrical harness to the radio remote. Again, you must be careful to use the guided keyway provided and not force the connectors together, so you do not damage or bend the pins. On the left side of the remote, turn the key to the on position, moving it from 0 to 1. Depress and hold the green button until you hear the audible alarm, and you are now ready to operate the aerial work platform. The work platform is easily controlled through the use of the joysticks on the remote control. You can control turret rotation, boom lift, extension, and retraction, RPMs of the engine, along with platform rotation and tilt. The functions of the remote when used in the platform are the same as described previously with the addition of the tilt optional toggle switch. When tilt is selected, you can use the right joystick to level the work platform. It is important to note that this function can only be done when the platform is fully lowered close to the ground, so you'll want to do this before you start operating the platform. When optional is selected, you can use the right joystick to rotate the work platform left or right. If the work platform is equipped with additional functionality, such as a winch, to operate that feature, you'll need to toggle the momentary Opt Select switch to select the corresponding number provided on the platform to the number listed on the bottom center of the remote, which will light up when selected. It is very important that while you're operating from the work platform, nobody enters the cab and tries to operate the machine. The only exception to this would be in the event of an emergency.